Hello everyone, this is Alex Designman and this is part 2 from the video series about uh, electrical harness flattening. So let's go straight uh, into it. Here I have the electrical harness flattening project from the last video from part 1. So this is what uh, we did. We have a flattened harness product where we extracted the harness. Before that we added the flattening parameter. So if you're just seeing this video you need to go to the part 1 and start over. And uh, you'll see there where uh, we have the project from. So there are no files to download. So to get the files you need to do the video series about the uh, Katia V5 electrical harness design from part 1 to part 5. This is where we do this project. And uh, we are using this project in this video series to work with the flattening workbench. So there are no files to download because there are compatibility issues with Katia V5 and uh, it might not work for some of the people so if you everybody just creates its own files in its own uh, software everything is going to be okay for everyone so we create everything from the connectors to the retainers you see they are very simple it's nothing complex in here and we do that in the previous video series so in here we extracted this into this product that has received before that flattening parameters and now we can go forward and flatten this so in here the first button was a uh, harness flattening parameter so if i get this workbench and i just put it here so this uh, toolbar it's called flatten should already have it there harness flattening parameters with this one we added the parameters with the second one extract we extracted the harness from the original product and the third button it's used to flatten so you can select this first if you don't select it, click, we get this uh, window, XY plane, so it asks you again about the algorithm mode, angle mode, so we've seen those before in the other video. This should be coarse, this should be standard. You cannot click OK because you need to select the extracted harness. If you select it, then you click OK, and now everything has been straightened and uh, flattened. So you can think that, okay, this is done. And uh, if it would be a harness so simple and not complex, yes, this can be done. You just put this in a drawing and uh, that's it. But in some harnesses, you need to make adjustments. Maybe this does not fit on a page, on an A3 page. So you need to move things around. And uh, to move everything around, we have the commands that we can see here on this toolbar so this toolbar is called manipulator and they have secondary toolbars with uh, all kind of uh, adjustments so what you would you like to adjust here well maybe make this one like a straight angle here and then maybe arrange those uh, branches at a equal angle from each other for the drawing and uh, if you have something, if you have a piece of harness that is very, very, very long and it doesn't fit inside the paper, you can make them shorter only on the drawing. Let's see this. So this is called Arrange Junctions from uh, the secondary toolbar from here. So we can use this Arrange Junction Equal Angle to adjust this one here. So to use this command, I click on it and it says select the bundle segment to be remained fixed near the desired junction so the junction is this one here but i want this bundle to move so it's not going to be this one that is going to be remain fixed but this one this is the main bundle that has to remain fixed and i have to click here near the junction so click here and it's showing you how this is going to be made click on the background to execute a range junction command so you click on the background and now this has been moved and this is a straight angle here. Next, let's work on this one here. So this one, you can uh, arrange those however you want. If you, there is a command, arrange junction umbrella like. Okay, so if I click on this, I will always look what the software is telling me. Select the bundle segment to be remained fixed near the desired junction. So those three will move. This one remains fixed. So now I'm going to click here next to the junction. So click and it's showing me how they are going to be arranged in a umbrella-like pattern. 
angle for umbrella like pattern you want 30 degrees so this is 30 degrees between the junction if you want more so let's add 45 degrees for example so if i click on those buttons here it's going to show you now what 45 degrees means click ok and those they have been moved so those are kind of automatic arrangements that you can do very fast so this is more like a processing workbench this is not you don't do a lot of stuff in here you just arrange everything and you go forward with uh, the job and the projects next let's use this orange junction equal angle also on here so i'm going to click on the bundle that needs to stay fixed which is this one and it's showing me that is going to design this in this way click on the background and everything it's uh, fixed now so let's save this always you always want to save stuff so you don't risk on uh, losing progress that you made on projects so this is how you use the automatic commands in uh, katia v5 electrical harness flattening in the next video we are going to look at the other commands that are used to make even fine adjustments so you can move those individually i can move this individually i can just like give it a curve if i want that so it gives you a few options to do even more adjustments if you have like a bigger project so we are going to just uh, use those on what we have here without uh, any issues and then we are going to try to put this on a drawing to see how uh, it looks so don't forget to save and see you in the next video with the same project